Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. Millions of years ago, when the 18 universes still existed, the most powerful goddess of the 18 universes, the most powerful goddess of destruction, being also called the Megaversal Goddess, felt in love, all the gods, mortals, and even beings of great power can feel this feeling. The destructive goddess of the universe, 16 Surus, realized this. The goddess possessed incredible destructive power. Being the only goddess to beat up the great priest one day, said goddess was wandering all over the world of the 18 universes, where it would make a stop in universe 7 to be more exact on the planet Vegeta of the Saiyans. The goddess incredulously remained watching how these mortals fought arduously to increase their powers a little more. However, the goddess Cirrus was doing it much more frequently. I must stop observing the mortals of this universe. They're not problems that concern me. At that moment, the goddess being caught off guard, an energy attack was directed towards her, since the Saiyans were training. However, before the attack hits her, Bardock would stand in front of her. Receiving that powerful attack, the goddess Cirrus was surprised how a Saiyan, without knowing her, gave his life for her. Why did you do it? The power was not going to make a scratch on me. I don't know, but I had the impulse to save you. Bardock would be knocked out. The Saiyans would approach and wanted to take him to a recovery machine. However, Cirrus would refuse and she would take him to another place. Curing him with his great power, when Bardock woke up, he would not recognize where he was. Where am I? What happened? I remember. How was that girl? Thank you very much for worrying about me, but I'm fine. Apparently all your wounds have been already healed. Bardock and the goddess established a connection from that day on, becoming closer and closer. That's right, they were having too many things in common. One day, the goddess would scream, Bardock, where are you? Bardock, having heard Cirrus' cry, would go quickly, but his surprise was great when he saw that everything was fine. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you screaming? Bardock, I'm pregnant. Bardock would be surprised. That's how she is, but she was very nervous. But well, what's wrong with you? I can't have children. This is against the rules. Rules? What are you talking about? Cirrus began to explain that she was a super destructive goddess. Bardock was shocked. However, both decided not to tell anyone. But what they did not know was that Xenosama was making a revolution against the six more gods. Powerful. That's right. He wanted to erase them. One day, Xenosama sent to call the six most powerful destroyer gods. I have a very bad premonition of all this. Sirius, being a super goddess, she would make her son born much faster by staying together with Bardock. The child would have been born with the same physical appearance as his father. The only thing to notice was the color of his hair, which was white, and his key could not be felt. The six supreme gods arrived at Xenosama's palace, where without warning, Xenosama gave a serious look. You are beings of great power. You break the balance of this entire multiverse, so I have no choice but to eliminate you. Each god was eliminated one by one. However, the goddess Cirrus was powerful enough to destroy Xenosama's barrier, teleporting to where Bardock was. What's wrong, Cyrus? You seem pale. The king of everything has tried to assassinate the six megaversal gods. There's nothing we can do. At that moment, the boy named Kakaroto the name his father had given him began to cry, shaking the 16 universes. The power of that newborn boy was so much that it even surpassed all the megaversal gods together by uniting the blood of a Saiyan and a goddess, and it should be clarified that at the time of procreating, it, Cirrus, unleashed all of Bardock's powers. What the hell? Why is the whole kingdom at all shaking? Who is this overwhelming power? Surpass all gods with ease. The power that can be felt was similar to that of Cirrus, but with a warrior essence. 
All the universes seemed like they were going to be destroyed by just the pressure of that power. I'll sacrifice myself. If Xenosama discovers our son, he'll kill him because of the power that he overflows. If you do it, I'll do it too. We're in this together. Cirrus, with her great power, created a guardian. Maris, you have enough power and authority to care for and educate our son. Guide him on the path of good. Don't let anything bad happen to him. I trust you. Don't worry, God, Sirisama. Leave it to my hands. Cirrus and Bardock were quickly teleported to an inhospitable planet outside the 18 universes, where both began to increase their powers in an overwhelming way, overshadowing the power felt by the little Kakaroto. Their parents, knowing that they just had to attract attention, used a lot more power than their bodies were used to. That is the power of Cirrus, but she is accompanied by another great power. Who could that be? Xenosama, along with Daishenken and the other 12 gods of destruction, headed towards the inopportune planet. Wow, so you're with the Saiyan, but you should know that they were stripped of the divine power millions of years ago. They can't do anything against us. Despite being at an absolute disadvantage, we will not allow ourselves to be exterminated so easily. That's right, Bardock and Cirrus launched the attack, knocking out all the gods of destruction. However, before everything got out of hand, the king of everything Xenosama decided to transform. Daishenken would be having a very even battle against the same Bardock, while Cirrus with Xenosama, the clear difference was noticeable. However, this being a king of everything, he would use one of his techniques being able to seriously injure her. This is your end. If at least it was easy to manipulate you, none of this would have happened. Xenosama had eliminated Cirrus by making her disappear, her soul not going to hell or paradise. At that moment, Xenosama would do the same with Bardock. You must train more, die. How can a simple Saiyan put you in these troubles? I understand, sir. I will train much harder. Daishenken would help all the gods that had fallen in battle. But what they did not know was that the true owner of the power that shook all the universes was still alive. Meanwhile, in another dimension, there were Maris and Kakaroto, which at a very young age, he was able to fly and master Divine Key. Kakaroto, I'm very proud of your success. Your parents must be very proud of you. Thank you very much, Miras, but I want to become much more powerful. One day, in one of his trainings, Kakaroto wanted to exceed his limits. At a young age, he already mastered the Celestial Ultra Instinct. It was the Ultra Instinct, but it took it to a new level. However, he raised his power so much, being able to reach the Infinite Super Saiyan. That's right, Kakaroto's power even made that whole dimension crack. Miras, with his great power, would seal said place, because if a little of that power was perceived, they would be in great trouble. Kakaroto would have an intimidating appearance, but at any moment, he would fall out of action due to his excess power. I can't believe how this child has so much power. A few years have passed, Kakaroto was already an adult, where he already dominated his power perfectly and wanted to know about his race. Miris, what happened to my race? Miris would begin to investigate with his staff. The Saiyan race is found in universes 6 and 7. In Universe 6, they became extinct due to an absurd war, and in Universe 7, the planet Vegeta was destroyed by a guy called Frieza. Are there any survivors? That's right. There are three survivors, Prince Vegeta, a Saiyan named Nappa, and Raditz, who is his half-brother. Kakarotu would be surprised to learn that he had a half-brother. I'm going to visit them. I want to know how much more about my origin. It's okay, Kakarotu-sama. Just don't get any trouble, please. Don't worry, Miris. I know it's not time for revenge yet. I'll make the king bastards pay in full, but let them enjoy it while they can. Kakaroto would transport to where the Saiyans were, which were on the planet Namek. Kakaroto would arrive on the planet of Namek and would observe how Frieza was torturing and humiliating the three Saiyans. Who are you? Are you another Saiyan? That face, that hair, are you Kakaroto? I have searched for you throughout the universe. That was my father's last wish. So, you're my brother, but you're very weak. You're nothing more than a simple worm. I don't know who the hell you are, but if the four of us unite, we can exterminate the Freezer. Damn, he's afraid of the power of the Saiyans together. 
I can take care of this damn clown alone. What did you say, you damn monkey? You heard me. It doesn't matter if you're immortal or not. I can exterminate even beings that have eternal life. Everyone was surprised, even Frieza. If you brag so much, let me fulfill that wish and then we'll see if you can finish me off. Okay, make your wish. Frieza would begin to torture a Namkin so that he would ask for Frieza's wish. However, Kakarot, being the son of a goddess, had enough knowledge. Kakarot would begin to speak in the Namkin language for the great dragon to appear. They have gathered the seven Dragon Balls. What is your wish? I wish you make Frieza immortal. All the Saiyans began to tremble. Are you an idiot? How do you think of making that wish? Thank you, Dad Monkey, but now you're no use to me anymore. Die! Frieza would throw a large sphere of key towards all the Saiyans. Kakarot would stand in front of everyone, and only with his aura would he be able to make all that attack disappear. Even if you didn't attack us, I was going to end your miserable life because you destroyed my planet. Frieza, witnessing that this Saiyan was not so weak, decided to go into his last form. Frieza decided to go seriously against that Saiyan. However, his body warned him not to attack, but the evil emperor would not pay attention to it, to the warnings that his body gave him. He had hit Kakarot with a strong blow to the face, which he did not even make him move an inch. Is that all? You really just wasted my time. Kakarot would take a single look when making Frieza unable to move. But what the hell? How do you have so much power? Who are you? I'm the son of a Super Saiyan God Bardock and the Super Destroyer Goddess Cirrus. What? Are you the son of a destructive goddess? And now I understand why you're so powerful. It's time that you die. Total elimination. Kakarot had so much power that with just one look, he was able to eliminate any warrior. The Saiyans who had witnessed such power of Kakarot were surprised. These spheres are no use to me. I have to look for the Super Dragon Balls. But where are they? I know. I'll go to the whole kingdom to pay them a visit. Before the Saiyans could say anything, Kakarot would disappear from that place. That's right, Kakarot had reached the realm of everything. Kakaroto had reached the king's palace of everything. Everyone who was in that palace felt like a new being had arrived. Who is the bastard that comes to my palace without authorization? We don't know, great king of everything, but today will be the day of his death. Go and bring that damned bastard before me. I'll execute him myself. It won't be necessary. He has already arrived at this palace. At that moment, a guy appeared in front of all of them, surprising Xenosama and Daishenkin. The guy who has with Cirrus 20 years ago. No, I'm wrong. That guy's key was half god and half Saiyan. This guy's key is completely the power of a god. Who the hell are you? What's more, what are you doing in my palace? That'll cost you your life. Xenosama could raise his hands with the intention of erasing Sun Kakarot, however Kakarot would give a loud cry. I only came here to see if you could provide information about the Super Dragon Balls that fulfill any wish. This is impossible. It's like nothing. After surviving the attack to erase a king completely, who the hell is this guy? What has happened? How is it possible that he could have not erased it? No one could answer his question, where a little annoying Kakaroto could raise his power a little. You are the most powerful beings in the kingdom of everything. At that moment, Kakarot would say to himself, No, they're not the most powerful. I can feel like they are seven beings of even greater power. If they all attack me together, it'd be a problem. Mikoshin, Daikenshin, attack! Don't let that bastard live. Mikoshin and Daishenken launched into the attack where, at that moment, Kakarot seemed to not have moved. However, he dodged their attacks with surprising precision and a strong blow would leave Daishenken very badly injured. On the contrary of Mikoshin, who wouldn't hit her? I can't believe that a goddess as powerful and beautiful as you followed the orders of this damn clown. Let's not fight, because if we do, our fist bumps will make those seven beings of great power wake up. Both you and I will have a hard time very bad. This guy has an ability to sense the key of another world. He has the ability to raise the gods of death that would have sealed in his place. 
because she didn't decrease her ki. That's right, she felt that having a battle with that god was too risky. Who are you? Why can't I feel a bit of Kira's ki inside you? I'm the son of Saiyan god Bardock and the supreme goddess of destruction, Cirrus. Everyone was surprised what Kakarot said. If you know that Cirrus was the enemy of the gods because she is so powerful, by revealing to us that you are her son, you're digging your grave. <laughs> if you think that for fear of you, I will deny my parents. You're very wrong. I know you killed them, but now that doesn't matter to me. What's more, do you want to fight me, Koshin? You know what our battle could bring. The spheres you speak of are scattered throughout the universes 6 and 7. Look for one of the destroyer gods of those universes and ask them to help you. No, damn it! That bastard wants the spheres to revive Cirrus. Siyasama would use his erase ability again, but again, it would be in vain. Kakarot's power was much higher than the king of everything. Kakarot transported in front of Xenosama, taking him by the neck. I know my parents died because of you, but now I have the power to kill you whenever I want. If I don't do it now, it's because I don't like to. But you're not the most powerful being, and you're not capable of erasing everything either. What is around you? Kakarot giving him a big blow, leaving the king completely lying on the ground, very badly injured. Dashenka was going to attack when he observed how that guy had offended the great Xenosama, but Mikoshin, being the most powerful in that place, would stop him. Let him go! The power of that god is on another level. Even fighting together, I don't know if we could defeat him. Kakarot would leave the king completely, heading to the planet of the destroyer god Beerus. Kakarot, being a superior god, would arrive in a few minutes, where he would be received by the guardian angel of Beerus. Yes? What is he offering? Mikoshin sent me to the destroyer god of this universe. She mentioned that you could help me gather the super dragon balls. The great Mikoshin-sama. I understand. Right now, I wake up Lord Beerus. Wiz would go quickly to wake up Beerus, who would get up in a bad mood. What the hell do you want, Wiss? I don't remember giving you the order to wake you up. Beerus began to throw balls of energy all over the place. One of them went to Kakarot, who, with just his eyes, made it disintegrate. Beerus felt a surprising pressure on his neck. Kakarot, looking into his eyes with authority, would tell him, Kneel before your superiors. Even an even more powerful pressure would fall on his body, which would not be able to move. What the hell is this? Why can't I move? Kakarot was approaching Beerus, which with each step raised his power a little, that even Wiss was not able to move due to the pressure of a superior being. I'm the most powerful Saiyan God, and is that your way of treating me? I didn't know of the existence of such a power Saiyan God. Excuse me, my powerful God, and tell me, how can I help you? Kakarot would lessen all the killing pressure from him that was focused on both subjects. I want you to help me gather the Super Dragon Balls. The angel Mikoshin of the Kingdom of Everything said that you could help me. Meanwhile, at the Realm of All, chaos would start because Xenosama was not going to tolerate such behavior from a mortal. All of you, go and bring me the head of that damn Saiyan. We can't allow him to revive Cirrus. But Mikoshin would refuse knowing the power that Kakarot had. Great Xenosama, oh, we can't attack that god hastily. His power is on another level. Furious, Xenosama would try to erase Daishenken, but at that moment, Mikoshin would make an energy field, causing his technique to fail. Mikoshin and Kakarot were one of the few who could avoid a king's technique completely. So, they are revealing themselves. Let's see what they could do with this. At that moment, an incredible dark power was felt throughout the entire kingdom of everything. Mikoshin would take Daishenken and leave that palace at a surprising speed. That guy is crazy! How the hell does he think he's going to do with such a god of death? It cost us a lot to seal them. Sister, where are we going? To Universe 7. We must ally with Kakarot. Going back to the planet of Beerus, Kakarot would get serious. I didn't think you'd be so stupid, Mikoshin. Even if you come with Daishenken, clown, they wouldn't be able to defeat me. Wiss and Beerus were surprised to hear how the Saiyan expressed himself about the most powerful beings in the kingdom of everything. 
great Kakarot is correct. His power is immense, but against Daishank and Xenosama and Mikoshin, he still lacks much more power to face them. Kakarot would start laughing. A few moments ago, I just came from the Kingdom of Everything, beating up the weakling of Daishenken, along with that dwarf of the King of Everything. Wissabeers were surprised by what Kakarot said. I can't believe it! Such a powerful god in my humble planet. At that moment, Mikoshin would arrive along with Daishenken. I never thought that it would be so stupid, Mikoshin. I'm going to kill you! We are not here to fight! The king has completely gone mad! He could not tolerate your bad behavior and has decided to invoke one of the gods of death! So I couldn't live with his failure, I see. No, Kakaroto, this is bad! In the past, even the supreme gods found it difficult to fight with them! Even your mother, Cirrus. With his mother being serious and his father saying, because of that, has so much power. He has Saiyan power and destructive power. So the union of both beings creates a powerful warrior enough to have a power to even humiliate a king altogether. In the realm of everything, a subject had appeared. Finally, fresh air. <laughs> so long. I have already fulfilled a part of my deal. Now I want you to finish with that Saiyan and the traitors of Daishank and Mikoshin. My guardians will also go with you. Eh, it's not necessary, but it's okay. I'll finish off those damned. I won't leave a trace of them. Especially the Mukoshin bastard since millions of years ago because of her damn fault I was sealed. Akuma along with his guardians were heading across the universe at incredible speed, arriving in a very short time. So, here are all the damned ones that I have to eliminate. Kuma would fix his gaze on the Saiyan. You cursed have the essence of the cursed Cirrus. She, together with the cursed Mikoshin, were able to seal me, but I would be like them to be here now. My power has increased. I'll tear them both to pieces together. Very bad comment, Akuma. Kakarot, at incredible speed, gave him a powerful Akuma blow that would make him spit out blood. Priests have already offended the king a lot. It would be best for them to give up their lives without resisting, so they will have a great life in the Angelic Kingdom. If you are so faithful and loyal to that damn selfish dwarf, go to the Angelic King in our place. We do not want to do it. That's right, Mikoshin ended the lives of both Guardians in a few minutes. Mikoshin Sama is amazing, but eliminating the Guardians will arouse the wrath of the three ultimate Guardians. I'm glad to have that goddess on my side. How fierce she is. Kakarot and Akuma would continue exchanging multiple blows. That's right, neither of them looked out match, so there was no clear winner to be seen. At that moment, Akuma gave Kakarot a strong blow, which stopped him with one hand. I hope this planet is resilient and doesn't explode under my power, although it's not my problem. It is a small planet, but it's very resistant. Kakarot began to increase his power in an incredible way, making the entire Universe 7 shake with such incredible power. Akuma was a bit surprised by the power the guy emanated. Who are you? Why is your power supreme? That's none of your business, but you dare to insult my mother, and this is paid with for your death. Kakarot began to slaughter the god of death Akuma, who was no longer a match for Kakarot. I can't believe the power he really has is being practically infinite power. It seems that his power has no limit. It's impossible. I can't believe what I'm seeing. That bastard's playing with the god of death. Now I'm sending the seven remaining gods. Let's see what he could do against all of them together. Xenosama would begin to make a deal with the gods of death returning to the planet of Beerus. Kakarot had tired of humiliating the god Akuma. I'll give you a quick death. Kakarot looked at the god, and he started to scream. That's right, Kakarot had disintegrated him. Kakarot, you're so very powerful. I didn't think you could beat him so easily. But at that moment, if a tremor shook all of the universe, and even the planet of Beerus that was very resisted, being to be destroyed by such bestial power that was approaching. The powerful planet of the destroyer god Beerus was being destroyed due to a power that even made all the destroyer gods tremble. The only ones who could stand up were Mikoshin and Kakarot. Being the most powerful, they could withstand a little more pressure. However, after a few minutes, Mikoshin would also fall to his knees. Kakarot, realizing this, would create a powerful energy field, making everyone else recover a little. Get away from here! It is best to go to a place that you consider safe, since the battle that is coming. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win. 
Aren't you afraid? Now we can escape. Don't stay to die. Fear is something normal. From what I can feel, it is the being that is approaching. The leader of the gods of death, since he has a power that is difficult to understand. At that moment, a sphere of key was heading towards all of them with incredible speed. But Kakarot would face that great attack, and with a powerful blow, he would disintegrate it. Apparently, you're very anxious to die, damn. Come, and I'll make you feel the true insect terror. Apparently, a Saiyan thinks he's capable of facing me. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. They won't be able to scratch me even if they all unite against me. So that's what you think. Let's see what you think of this. Kakarot began to increase his power in an overwhelming way, managing to transform into the powerful Phase 3 Ultra Instinct. The power that this gave off made the entire multiverse tremble. Kakarot, without saying a word, would launch it to the attack. At that moment, with the flash clashed of their fists, the planet of Beerus would explode to pieces. The planet of the God of Destruction did not support a single impact from those two guys. Tsuyokomi would give a powerful blow to Kakarot, making him spit blood. However, Kakarot would not be left behind. You have great power in your punches, but I'm not a failure. Divine Punishing Punch! A strong blow would hit him in the face of the god, making him fall in front of the barrier where Mikoshin and the others were safe. At the moment they exchanged glances, Mikoshin and Daishenken were surprised. His sister, the god of death, is Saikumi, our older brother. But what happened to him because he has all those wounds on his face? I don't know. But apparently the power of a god of death is disintegrating him from afar. The god who loved life became a god of death. I can't believe this. So, you're also the brother of Mikoshin and Daishaken's bastard. But your key is absolute evil. What happened to you? I don't remember my past that much. But I used to call those two scumbags brothers. I must end all family ties since those only make me pathetic. Tsukumi launched himself towards the barrier, giving it a strong blow. However, he would not be able to cross it. The barrier had a large part of the power of Kakarot. Witnessing this, he would stand in front of it, since his barrier achieved withstand the attack. However, it had decreased to 75% of its hardiness. Kakarot and Tsukumi began to exchange blows at an extremely incredible speed. The power that Tsukumi displayed was incredible. Kakarot, the Saiyan, who was born with the transformation of the Super Saiyan Infinity, was not far behind in the same way. He did not use said transformation because his energy drain was immense, and he could only access it for 25 seconds. From one moment to the next, Tsukumi began to take the lead in the battle, giving very good blows to Kakarot, which would fall to the ground very badly injured. He was seriously injured. At that moment, his whole body began to release smoke. Due to that, he was regenerating at an incredible speed. What the hell? He's never been hurt. What the hell am I? Why am I the only Saiyan with this incredible power? Apparently you have an excellent regeneration, but said regeneration must have a limit. You'll be my punching bag until I get bored. That's right, Tsukumi began to take the battle much more seriously, being able to give Kakarot some good blows because his speed would have multiplied a hundred times. At that moment, Mikoshin would gather his courage by leaving the barrier that Kakarot had put. Mikoshin would increase his power to the limit by launching himself to attack. However, this was thrown to the ground only with the pressure of Tsukumi's key. What are you supposed to do, rubbish? Your power is not even close to comparing to mine, so you better stay away from this place. Hmm. On second thought, I better kill you now. Tsukumi would teleport in front of Mikoshin and charged a powerful blow, with which he intended to end the angel's life. However, at that precise moment, Kakarot would stand in front of him, receiving such a brutal blow, Kakarot would spit out blood. What have you done? Why did you let him kill me? I promise to protect you, and I'll keep my word. Now you go away from here! Tsukumi, the god who refused to destroy a planet because there were innocent beings. Tell me, what happened to you? We thought you were dead. As you can see, I never died. You, the beings I love the most and for whom I gave my life, left me with the gods of death. At that moment, Daishenka would get into the conversation. We never abandoned you, brother, but we thought you were dead. Both Mikoshin and Cirrus and I were facing the rest of the gods of death. We couldn't do anything. 
Now I don't care about his excuses. The only thing I know is that thanks to that, I was able to surpass all my powers since I've mastered all the negative power of a god of death. Sukami increased his power even more. This time, the 12 universes were shaking and planets in all of them were being destroyed by the simple pressure of his key. There's no point in trying to reason with him. Apparently, he has a very blurry past where someone is controlling him. Tsukami launched into the attack which Kakarot would stop him, realizing, again, a great battle, the power of both would remain very even. Kakarot possessing the cells of the supreme god Cirrus, he was counting on his regeneration. Cirrus was a goddess who had three hearts, for which reason her regeneration made her seem like an immortal being, and by having a son with a Saiyan, Kakarot would always have Zenkai's in battle. However, the damage that Kakarot was receiving was so much that even the healing he was about to reach his limit, Kakarot was very worn out. I have no choice. I must use that transformation. But if I don't finish it in the 25 seconds, this would be the end of us. Kakarot with all his power would hit Tsukomi, which would send him flying hundreds of meters through that space. Kakarot would use his teleportation quickly, arriving with Mikoshin. Mikoshin, I'll do whatever it takes to stop this guy, but promise me that you'll revive my parents. That's all I'm asking you. But, but Kakarot, you can escape with us. Come, I beg you, please. No, Mikoshin, I'll be the bait. Take it for granted, Kakarot-sama. We'll make sure that the super god destroyer Sirisama and the god Saiyan come back to life. I thank you, priest. Now I can use all my power. Kakarot began to increase his power, causing lightning to fall all around him. Kakarot's power was so much that he was able to outshine the powers of Mikoshin and the others who were heading to Universe 6 at a surprising speed. Tsukumi would return and before Kakarot passed to the Super Saiyan Infinity, he'd be able to give him a strong blow. Damn you, blow gave me has hurt too much. Now I'll make you feel the true terror. Tsukumi released a part of the king's power from the hole. Now I understand everything. You devoured all the other gods of death. Conserving all their powers and energies, and the key of Xenosama's dwarf disappeared because of you. You exterminated him. A useless dwarf wanted to give orders to me, a god of death. Flashback, Xenosama managed to make a deal with the gods of death. However, only one god would come out of the deal with said seal, which Zemo-sama recognized instantly. Tsukomi, what are you supposed to do in that place? How are you a god of death? And the others? I'm the supreme god of death. All other gods live in me. This is impossible, but I'm not interested. Now go and kill those damned. Oh, do you, Tsukami, would get angry and approach him with a cold stare. Are you ordering me what to do? Oh, and I'll let you pass this. Die, insect! Inverted Akai! Infernal darkness! But, but, but what have you done to me? What do you think? It's my own technique of erasing, only that I keep the power of the supreme being that I eliminate. You can't do this to me. If I die, we'll collide with the other multiverses. Since I am the pillar of Multiverse 4, Reflexio Komi, we were called the weakest multiverse by the creator god. So, the weakest multiverse. <laughs> Don't worry, dwarf. If I fulfill your request, I'll finish off that Saiyan son of Cirrus, and with the two insects of my brothers, and if the other kings want to test my powers, let them dare. Then I will dust. Xenosama had died, and he had begun to form part of Tsukami's power, end of the flashback. Kakarot and Tsukami began to exchange blows again, however, Ultra Instinct Phase 3 was not enough. Zengoken! Various copies of it had appeared on the battlefield, where it began to increase its power rapidly. Lightning and everyone began to fall on what was left of the planet of the destroyer god Beerus. Kakarot had accessed Super Saiyan Infinity, which made all the gods tremble as a child. Due to his great power, Kakarot would appear in front of Tsukomi, and with a furtive blow, he would make him cross a few planets that were in his path. That blow hurt a lot. What the hell? Where'd you get so much power? That's none of your business. But now die! Divine Spiritual Cannon! Kakarot had executed a technique of great power, throwing it at Tsukomi. Kakarot had bet everything on his technique because if he didn't exterminate him, he'd be killed. Meanwhile, Daishenken and the others had reached Universe 6 at the planet of Champa. Champa, to observe them, would be scared to death. 
shake it some. Me cush it some. How can I help you? There's no time to lose. I want to give you the six super Dragon Balls that you have in your possession. It's life or death. Of course, I shake it some. But I hope you didn't think that I would make a bad wish. I only had them together in case of a critical situation arose. This is a critical situation. Daishenken with mental power would carry the six Super Dragon Balls with the last sphere at that moment, a great attack would illuminate all the universes, and everyone would think that it was Kakarot attack. However, Siokomi was able to survive and after 25 seconds, his power was so worn that he would return to his base state. With a simple attack, Tsukami thought he would lose his life. Get out of there, great god Zarma, and fulfill my wish. What is your wish? I want you to bring the family of the Saiyan Kakarot. The eyes of the dragon would shine, appearing in front of everyone, the supreme god Cirrus, and the super Saiyan god Bardock. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. Oh